What is going on everybody? It is the Phantom Michael and I'm bringing you episode number 19 of our Pokemon Black and White Randomized Soul Link Challenge with the one, the only, DJ Spinda. What's going on guys? DJ Spinda here. Alright you guys, on the last episode we took on the beginning of this amazing cave. Um, What is the name of this daggum place? Charge Stone Cave. Charge Stone Cave, I should have known that. Stupid. Anyway. Let's do a quick team recap so we can get the heckles out of here. Heck yeah. Up first on my squad, we have the gorgeous Chloe the Stoutland with Ice Fang, Takedown, Retaliate, and Crunch. And linked with Chloe is the Rocky Helmet wearing Plugs, the Electabuzz, with the moves Shockwave, Quick Attack, Thunder Punch, and Low Kick. Right on up next, we have Cena the Machamp with Vital Throw as in Headbutt, Seismic Toss, and Revenge. And linked with Cena holding that mind plate, it's the OG Mew the OG with the moves Psychic, Shadow Claw, Mega Punch, and Reflect Type. Right on. And last but not least, to kick off the ending of our squad, we have Morningstar the Pharaoh Seed with Curse, Metal Claw, Iron Defense, and Gyro Ball. And linked with with uh, Morningstar is Galar, the gear Pokemon. <laughs> the Clang, holding that Evil Light to power up that defense. Rocking out with moves, Charge Beam, Gear Grind, Charge, and Autotomize. And we also have Consuela sitting back here, hanging out. Yeah, with little Rufus. It's got Rufus. That. Rufus. What is this? Shiny Pokemon, so we can catch it. Ooh. Ooh. Is it a that legendary a little, encounter? Oh, it's a Gengar. Or what? Ooh, that is legendary. That's sweet. I'm down for that. <laughs> and I killed it. Ninkata. Easy peasy, man. Nice. Oh, yeah, I all forgot right. Ninkata is a ground type. I forgot what all we were supposed to be doing. Let me get out my handy dandy trainer guide. Oh, there's only really one item we can get, man. It's like directly south of the entrance. Oh. South of where we went down, you go down a little thing, there's an item right there. Then you go back up. Then we're out. How many of these here, uh... Oh, dude, do I not have any more... Repels? Rep repels? You don't have any more repels? What are we gonna do? Oh, no, never mind. I, can't... I still have nine super Ooh. repels left. Look at that chinchino. Bala, shot collar. Oh, I ran into what? N. Ooh. I ran into N. Did you get the item? Not yet, but I ran into N, so nothing else matters what, now. Ends closest to the door, right? He is. Okay. <clears throat> I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Morningstar's trying to learn ingrain. Oh, talk about the bulk, man. He's living for days. Uh, 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 we'll get rid of Iron Defense. Yeah, if you got Curse, you might as well get rid of Iron Defense. Yeah, Curse is better. All right, let me grab this item real quick. Oh my goodness. Real quick, huh, Mike? Real quick. They're supposed to be quick. Supposed to be quick. Power belt. I have every one of those now. Dang. Oh. Oh, there you found him. I did. Many different values mixed together and the world becomes gray. That is unforgivable. I will separate Pokemon and people, and black and white will be clearly distinct. Only then will Pokemon become perfect beings. Yes, that is my dream. That is the dream I must fulfill. DJ Spin, do you have a dream of your own? 
Yes. You have a dream? I had a dream, says Martin Luther King. <laughs> That's wonderful. I'll learn just what kind of dream you bat you have. In battle! Here we go. Wow. You like that? How he played you like that? Yeah, I like the music. I like his look. He's just mm, this Pokeball is so profound. Cop N has a hitman on top. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider in the sky. I got to switch out of my steel type. You don't even know who sings that song? Yes, I do. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Triple kick. Ha 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 Laughable. Here, catch a psychic. Ooh, a Gyarados Ooh, is coming out. Ho, ho, ho. He caught the psychic and it didn't he did not catch it well. Oshawat. Uh plugs, let's do it. Ooh, I froze him, dude. That's awesome. Nifty, Good job. Nifty. Good job, Chloe. Good job, Chloe. Who would have thought a herdier would save your playthrough so hard? Who would have thought? Not I. Said the blind man. <laughs> Excelsior! Excelsior! Old Stanley, baby. Ooh, I like this thing because it's fast. This retaliate's gonna murder it. Retaliate! You're dead. Retaliate! Aselgor, huh? I won. Me too, I just low kicked his Lanoon. And it is dead. Diggity done dead. Gum. Oh, he's always oh, got a heat gum. more. Never mind. Heat more. Heat more of my lunchables. Heat mo. <laughs> The OG is coming out here to ruin his day. Psychic. Nothing lives a psychic. Nothing. You know, when I first saw Heatmore, I was like, my mind went initially to Heat Ran. I was like, oh gosh, this is gonna get wild. That would have been scary. I think I battled a Heat Ran already in this. I think. I could have caught one. Tsk, why? Is it possible for me to win while feeling bad about being a trainer? As if I could pursue my ideals with something as meaningless as a battle. As if that could make me worthy to become friends with a legendary Pokemon. Phantom! Just a little further to <clears throat> Mr. Alton City. I know what I meant. <laughs> Bianca, you have good ears. I can't believe you heard Phantom's voice from that far away. Phantom, who is this trainer? Professor Juniper, what are you thinking? You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between Pokemon and people. You put Pokemon in categories using arbitrary rules and think you can understand them like that. The very idea of Pokemon or the Pokedex revolts me. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh my. Looks like you're not my biggest fan. Your opinion is understandable. It happens to be different from mine, which is equally understandable. How about if all people get to decide for themselves how to relate to Pokemon? You're saying I should just allow people to think whatever they want and treat Pokemon however they want, no matter whether the Pokemon suffer? I refuse to tolerate the existence of a world like that. Huh. You know, that's a conversation I don't think I ever really truly read. I, yeah. Well, I didn't expect him to change his mind right away, but I hope he'll spend a little time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think I'll go collect a little more data for Pokemon and people to get along better. We need to take steps to learn more about them. <gasps> Phantom! I'm gonna go with Professor Juniper now because I'm her bodyguard. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Her bodyguard. She's in great okay. hands. Um, great. She'll, she'll be safe. I thought that was a very intelligent argument that Juniper made. Mm -hmm. Like the way she, the way that she used her words in that. Um, I was like, yeah, that. I mean, that's that's literally the thought process that everybody else has got. You know. 
Right. This trainer had a Kingdra. And it ate up my Thunder Punch like nothing. That's not good. Alright, I'm sending Consuela. I can't believe a Kingdra out outspeeds my Electabuzz when my Electabuzz is 10 levels above it. We get a new encounter in here, my friend. Reuniclus. Ooh. Mm. Wait, where are you at? Oh, yeah. I'm still in the cave. I'm going to grab that item. Oh, yeah. Psy Shock. Psy Shock. I should be able to take that pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, we resist that, boy. Galar just hit level 36 and wants to learn Mirror Shot. I found the move Deleter and the move Relearner. Hmm. Could be useful. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Ran into a... I don't know who this guy is. Found a metronome. 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 And now I'm out of the cave. Just go straight ahead. There's nothing to the right. Okay, well, I'm going to heal first. Yeah, that's a good call. And I'm going to put Rufus in the PC. Good call. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, man. Alrighty. Oh, these are my dead mons. Ah, I don't want to look at that. Ah, makes me sad. Don't cry about it. We have so much power in the PC. Uh, let's see. Do these guys do anything important? I'm, oh, you should buy repels, Mike. Well, I was, but I got stuck in this. I have a guy that the guy in the Pokemon Center teaches hidden power. Ooh, that might be good. Oh, I'll, yeah, I see what you're waiting for. Never mind. Okay, hold on. I'll be all right there. I'll be there for you. I'll be there for you. All righty. I have been stopped as well. Oh, you, we have different trainers. Oh, never mind, never mind. They're both the same. should be the same guy. All right. Oi! Hey! Phantom, right? Let me see your Pokedex for a minute. Oh, what we have here? So you found 311 Pokemon? Staggering. You've seen a clink? You've become quite the trainer. Excuse me, I was a little excited and forgot my manners. My name is Juniper too. Cedric Juniper. Hey, the professor who gave you the Pokedex is my daughter. That girl has told me a, a lot about you. It really makes my day to meet you. In honor of our meeting, I'm going to upgrade your Pokedex. I did not realize that we met Professor Juniper's dad in this. Me neither. Uh, some Pokemon can change forms even when it is the same individual. If you have already seen a form, you can check it with, with this whenever you want. I also added a function to make searching easier. <clears throat> Professor, wh who's that Pokemon trainer? Oh, I forgot my introductions. Skylar, this is my friend. This is a friend of my daughter's. Phantom is traveling around Un Unova to complete the Pokedex. Oh, I see. So that means you'll be challenging the gym. Oh boy, I'm really looking forward to it. That's right, Phantom. You should challenge this gym. If nothing else, this gym is really out there. So, Skylar, if something comes up again, I'll let you know. Professor, my plane is a cargo plane. It carries cargo, not people. And you're taking, you're talking as if places like Kanto and Sinnoh are right around the corner. Oh, Skyla, if you keep frowning, your face might freeze like that, and that, that'd be a shame. People and Pokemon will all have to help each other out. See you later. Sheesh. It's hard to believe a happy-go-lucky guy like that could be a world-renowned Pokemon professor. 
Heads up, DJ Spinner. As a gym leader, I'd be happy to have you challenge the gym, but there's something I need to take care of first. Just now, I was flying in the cargo plane and I saw something on top of the Castellia Tower. I'm sure that it's a sick Pokemon. You know, like a rad Pokemon, like a thick Pokemon. If it's it is, <laughs> if it is, I can't just leave it there. I have to look into this right away. I'm leaving for Route 7's Celestial Tower. You can come along if you want. Okay. All right. Mmm, <coughs> mmm, I see a Pokeball on the plane. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's how you feel? Why are you asking all them questions? Are there no hidden items down here? I feel like there should be. Hmm, I guess not. I found the TM for Power Whip, dude. Ooh. Saucy. Ooh, I got Attract. All right. Oh, oh, I found a hidden item down here. Dude, uh, we get a new encounter in Route 7, and I think it's you first. I found a black belt. Do you have Pokeballs, Mike? Yes. Perfect. You get the first encounter, I my oh, friend. Oh, I found another dude. There's there's so many hidden items down here. I got. I've already found two. I gotta check my Pokeball situation. I found the yellow flute. All right, there's about three hidden items down there. Dylan. Okie dokie. Wait, hold on. I think yours looks different. <laughs> Oh gosh, sir. <coughs> I'm starting to get a cold. Um, I think yours looks different down there than mine does. Talking about the airplane yeah. stuff? Yeah. Mine's got Do you have Mine's got these greenhouses down here. Down at the very bottom? Yeah, go look. Look at my screen, you can see. Look at that. What? Yeah. Check your check your little thing and see if they still have the uh Do you have the item finder? I don't even know if I remember how to use that, to be honest with you. It you don't even have to press a button, it just you just follow the arrows. Yeah, I know, but I, I got to remember how to set it up. Oh, you just make it, it's a S or it's A. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, there's three items down there. Who gets the first encounter? You do. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, route 7. Something we can use, please. Yo. I actually can't get these items. Dang it. Do I have a bronze ore? Oh my goodness, Mike. I actually can't get these items. It, it looks oh. like that, but you talk to the wall. Oh, interesting. That's super weird. What? Uh, you were right. Like, I was, I went and talked to the wall, and I'm like, oh. My encounter is a bronze ore. Flame plate. A bronze, bronze ore. Is that a, a primary psychic, right? I think it, it's either psychic or steel. Either way, I don't think we can use it. Zoom lens. All right. All right, I'll go nab my encounter then, since you didn't get. Did you get all three? Yes, sir. Nope. All right, I caught it. All right, my encounter is to pair up with your. Ooh, it's a. What was yours? Oh yeah, yours had no no uh, gender, right? No gender. All right, well, I got a Golduck, a uh, water and psychic pair. Perfect. Come on. OK, 
Okay, I should be able to catch it now. One. Oh, I had an item. Two. Three. Yep, it's Boom. a primary steel type. Oh, it is primary steel. Okay. Oh, we could. Oh, uh, oh, we can use it. No, I have a primary steel. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this is a steel and water pair. Golduck, yep. the duck Pokemon. It it is seen swimming dynamically and in light ele elegantly, using its well developed limbs and flippers. Hmm. Nice. I named him Bell Toll. Oh, I better write that down. For whom the bell toll? And what should I name this Golduck? Pizzeria. Well. Hmm. I don't know what to name this Golduck. Um. Kevin. Kevin. Screw it. I'm naming him Lenny. <laughs> what was the Psyduck's name off of? Uh... They just called they, they just called him Psyduck, which is lame. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, that's our encounter, which is kind of booty, but hey, whatevs. I wonder if that's like that's like calling a person human. I know it really is. Human. It'd be like having a pet dog and just calling it dog. I had a dog named Dog. Well, see, now you're just weird, Mike. Uh, where do we go now? Oh, uh, we go through the grass. Through the grass. I'm skipping a lot of trainers. Yeah, we're way over leveled. I know, dude. I'm like murdering. Yo, them. I just got a TM from this lady on um, when you first enter Route Seven when you go up the stairs there. Yeah. Yeah, she gave me Bone Club. Ooh. I might have to go back. Uh oh, you just you just gave Chloe some swagger. You better hope she don't hit you. <laughs> Ooh, hope oh, she hit herself. Let's go, Sino. Shoot, this trainer stopped me. I didn't I wasn't sure if he was looking my way or not, but he stopped me. He was in the tall grass hiding like a bum. Like a bum. Like a bum. Oh, self-destruct! <gasps> Better freaking be careful. Uh, let's see how much this does. Oh, we resisted. It did nothing. Did nothing. Yep. Free kill. Ooh. Dude, I love Herdier has freaking... Scrafty's a pretty good counter to my whole team, honestly. Scrafty? Yeah. I can't hit him with a Psychic. <laughs> Ooh, an electric would have been cool. Yeah, I'm not that big a fan of Manetric. A uh, Mega Manetric, maybe, but. A Bell Sprout would have been really cool. Bell Sprout. Pass Orb? Lava Cookie. I found a Lava Cookie. All right, I'm at the Celestial Tower. We get another encounter in there. Yeah, I'm talking to these people in this little house here. Oh, they give you the TM for Giga Drain. Oh, this guy wants to trade a Bulldor for an Emolga. Really? Yep. Ooh, holy crap, dude. What up? Freaking Crocodile on my screen. Crocodile? Oh, she turned and caught me right at... Oh, my gosh. What a sneaky bugger. Has a worm a dam? That's what you stopped me for? A worm a dam? Got it. Litwick coming out? 
Another item. Oh, jeez, these trainers are catching me, Mike. I've caught like four trainers now. And this chick's got a frost last that used Confuse Ray. But I knocked it out with Gear Grind because it's super effective. Kingdra. Another Kingdra. I cannot believe how well Kingdra does. Does uh, does Dragon resist Electric? Yeah. It does because it's not a super effective hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why. Behem. Hmm. Hmm. My whole team's actually getting pretty evenly leveled now with each other. Is it really? Yeah. That's good. Like, I have two level 39s and a 37. You got the tower yet? Not quite. This lady just gave me a berry. Alright, let's grab this item. Ground gem. What a gem. Ooh. Ground gem. Oh my gosh! Do these trainers what? just turn and look at you? They're like, I can't tell what way they're standing in the tall grass. They just... They just turn and look at me and I'm done though. Nope. You ain't gonna be able to tell. Uh, I'm so annoyed right now. Oh my gosh, get off my screen. Ugh. Come on. Okay, another berry. Thanks. Didn't need it. Cool. I just wanted this item. It's a netball, not worth. Which one teaches you? Um. You said someone in a house teaches you Mega Drain. Uh, they talked about it. I they didn't actually teach it to me. I. Oh. I I jumped the gun on that comment. Did you make it to the tower? I am at the tower. You get the first encounter, boy. Can you even encounter Pokemon on the first floor? Yeah. Yeah. Somehow, I don't believe you. Yeah, I'm not getting anything down here. Okay, go up the stairs. What does this music sound like? This music sounds like, sounds like Yu-Gi-Oh or something. Here's my encounter. It does. Here's my encounter. Here's my encounter. It's another water type. Whalmer. You don't have a Whalmer? No. We also don't have a water type on the team, so. We don't have a water type? We do not. Oh, dude. So if you Can could I give get. Me a dark type? If you could get a dark type or a dragon type or a rock type or a ground type or. Or a fire type or. Do we have a grass type now? Yeah. What's our grass type? Pharisee. Oh, you're right, you're right. Um. So you've got a grass, normal, and fighting. I've got steel, electric, and psychic. So. Whew, I got a crit on that oh. second one. Almost killed can't, him. Can't encounter it. It's a water type, too. That's fine. Mine's a female, just remember. Kingler would have been cool, though. Oh. Dude. Another water type. Freaking Blastoise. I would have took the shit out of that. Okay. Let me get a Charizard. Uh, Ooh. Ah. It's male. That's our, that's our pair. Damn it. A psychic and water type. Mmm. I'm gonna use this new net ball I just got. Catch this whalmer. One, two, three. I caught it. Oh man, that'll be a juicy old whale lord, man. Ball whale Pokemon. On Couldn't sunny days, it lands on beaches 
to bounce like a ball in play. It spouts water from its nose. Couldn't I have gotten a damn Umbreon? Yeah, that would have been perfect, actually. Ah, uh, female Whalmer. Um. Bertha. Big old Bertha. Um. Mmm. Call him. What a weird pair. <laughs> Whelmer and Espeon. I mean, it's not a bad pair. No. There we go. Mohit the Espeon. Uh, oh, dude, you totally could have named it... Uh... Uh, Purple Fire. <laughs> I could have. Spouts is what I named the. Uh, let's see what is what is the Celestial Tower? Celestial. I forgot Purple Fire likes Espeon. Totally forgot. Oh my goodness, Dylan, we're so over time right now. Uh yeah, we're like a minute over time or something, aren't we? Yep. Well, that's a good place to stop then. All right, you guys. Oh my God, self destruct! Don't do anything. Didn't. Cool. All right, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button. Your support would be greatly appreciated. And with that, I've been the Phantom Michael. That's DJ Spindle. We're gonna get the heck out of here, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.